Hey guys, it's Cass, and welcome back to my channel. We are back in 1.18 Survival World, and I do quite a bit of exploring this episode, just trying to check out other areas, because I know, like I've said in the beginning, I want to make multiple pit stops, I guess, or multiple homes and multiple locations. I want to be not constantly moving, but being able to move pretty frequently. So not getting too attached to one area. So uh, at this specific moment, I was out hunting for melons um, and they were extremely difficult to find. It took me several, several hours which is kind of ridiculous for how much jungle I have around. Um, but I grabbed these to take them back to plant them. And I was also just scoping out and just investigating places. Like, look at this natural generation with the aquaphor. And it, it's just interesting. And then I kept going a little bit and I came across a mesa. And it's one of the, I don't know if they have like specific different names for each one, but this one has a lot of the spiky bits. Um, and I knew this would be a great place to check out, I was going to say dungeons, that's not the word I'm looking for, um, mine shafts. But I saw this really cool thing. Um, I did end up grabbing the cords for it because I think it would be cool to come back to. But I do find our first uh, mine shaft which there are multiple just even through the straight line that I walk through kind of going through this. So I think I need to spend some time actually coming back through and trying to go through all of them. Um, mostly just for chests, but uh, I didn't find any chests on the inside of this one. This was a huge one. Um, and I went around lighting everything up and I found two spider spawners, which I think these might be close enough to be able to make a double spider spawner. Um, just kidding. I broke both. <laughs> I forgot. Um, but then I find the chests out here. Both of the chests. And I get a name tag out of here. And I believe there's two diamond? Yes, two diamond and a golden apple in here and some more iron that I take. But yeah, there are several. Like, here's another one that I'm coming across in another mine shaft. And I think about it, I almost go for it to clear this out, but I change my mind and keep going. And at one edge, I do see kind of a little mini small desert, but there is a desert village over here. So we find, this is village number one that we find while out journeying. Here's the cords. Like I said, um, I'm just playing on the seed Cassandra Lynn in all lowercase, so there's cords for that. Um, and then this big empty ravine, and then I'm trying to start heading back, and I find pandas. And I think the easiest thing to do is to breed them, and I was just planning to breed them. And that one's a little sick panda. So they has a little baby, which is so cute. But I thought this little sick guy is just really, really, really cute. <laughs> I love that they have so many different variations but I just wanted to feed them because they look so cute when you feed them how they sit down and eat and munch on the bamboo very cute and then I was trying to figure out where their baby went <laughs> it was like they just had a baby where did their baby go oh there's their baby and then it dawns on me that, yes, I will take this little baby panda back with me um, and raise him. <laughs> it wasn't my initial plan, but he's coming home with me and we loop back around to another part. I think it's, I believe it's the same Mesa, um, but it just, it takes us a while and there's a lot of jungle that we have to get through to get back. But then I come across... I don't, again, I don't know if it's the same Mesa, I think. Um, it's just a really big one, but we have to cut through because I, I mean, I have the bamboo, so I guess the baby would have followed me in hindsight, um, but I decided to cut through instead. Um, 
and yeah, to get the little baby panda home. Also, I totally forgot to mention that I'm having to do voiceover in this because this was still at the same time that I didn't turn my mic on. So, sorry. I'll be back to normal talking and videos in the next um, episode of 1.18, our survival let's play. But I just take my time every time I come across a like sunken ship or here with these drowned little places. I check for maps. Um, this one I got two fishing rods out of. One has Luck of the Sea 2, I believe. I'm breaking 2 and Luck of the Sea 3. Um, but yeah, I check all of these. I check every single treasure chest sunken, sunken ship for a treasure map. I think that's the right way of saying it. Um, but I had come up to this one thinking that it was right here, but then obviously I wasn't on the X. And then... It's one that I've already found before, but that seems to happen kind of frequently. Um, so I ditched that and again, still making our way home. It's just taking a long time because we were far away, but he grew up <laughs> kind of out of nowhere um, and we are back and kind of on a whim, I decide that I need to make him a house over here and turn this into a place um, for him all alone. Hopefully not all alone forever, but for the time being. I light it up a little bit. And again, just randomly exploring. I was digging down right underneath where my first home is. And I came into another lush cave. And I snoop around a little bit. Um, I don't go too far. It goes on for quite a while. Um, but I just peek around a little bit. And then we find ourselves our first axolotl that we end up saving. I haven't named the axolotl yet. But then I get to work on, I end up naming him Hugo, um, but I end up getting to work on building out a semi-suitable living place for Hugo with trying to fill it in with dirt. Um, and then I, you'll see I end up making like a path to try to get the grass to spread over here since I don't have silk touch on anything. It's gotta spread the natural way. Um, but I'm out getting more dirt and I come across the first wandering trader in this world. Um, he has nothing but some free leads. So we take full advantage. And I don't kill him, I just kill the llamas even though I hit him. But here's where I'm branching out with the dirt to try to get the grass to spread over to Hugo's little area. And then I just keep on working on spreading out his area and then of course cutting it back to everything's two or three blocks high so he can't get out of anything. He's in captivity but I want him to be in a nice spot. So I get the fences going on both sides and then I also cut him like a hole in the rock where he keeps going over to and then I make, I wouldn't call it a hut, but just like a little overlay thing and I plant bamboo. I think it'll look a lot nicer over here once grass starts coming over, but I know that that's just going to take some time and I get him out of his little boat. He's cute. <laughs> and for some reason, I thought that you could put the name tag on them without actually naming them. I don't know why. So clearly that's why I made that mistake. But I'm building this little like kind of hut here. But I do end up having to find more iron to make an anvil to name him. But I do take care of that. And then he keeps coming into this little area. So I figured I'd carve it out for him. And I'm kind of a little ADD here. I keep going and jumping back and forth between both the projects at the same time. So I get the roof put in up here. And then I go back to digging out, I guess it would be like another form of a shelter. 
but I take a quick peek at everything, see that he's coming back in here again, and I keep digging this out to kind of make, I don't know, I guess like another shelter you would see <laughs> in a zoo, I guess, um, for Hugo, which he's not named yet at this point, but that's what I do end up naming him. So he's got this little in and out area. I cut it back a little bit more because he's got some thick hips. And yeah, I'm actually really in love with how this has turned out. Um, and then it starts to be a thunderstorm, but I just can't wait for the grass to spread. And I go out exploring a little bit more, like I said, and I found this really tall hill that is just so beautiful with these little purple flowers. I take the cords um, and there is a pillager tower um, because I would like to build something here or if nothing else I need to make a like raid setup because right here there's another village so pillager tower here's the cords again if anyone's playing or checks out the seed um, and there's the village so I take a sleep kind of sort of investigate this um, I'm glad that I didn't just start running over because it drops off right here into a pretty big dip down um, that I probably wouldn't have seen if I would have been running. So there's our pillager tower. I would love to build something on this hill. But we go check out the village. So this is village number two in this kind of exploration situation. And like most villages, there is nothing here besides the villagers and some bread and an apple or two. Um, but yeah, I think coming back here, I say that and then I end up taking these library books or <laughs> bookshelves, bookshelves. Um, but I think I will end up coming back here and locking them all into their houses at night to keep them safe. And then just making this a place where I practice on my raids because I need to complete one in my hardcore world and I've never done a raid alone nor have I ever done a raid in a hardcore world so I need to practice and this will be my practice village I feel like for it but I go check out some more and I keep coming across these really cool dripstone caves which these seem kind of just surreal like I know that we got the dripstone before 1.18 came out officially um but to stumble across these when you're naturally like naturally I guess stumble across them when you're playing um is really cool <laughs> I'm back up I come out of that cave up over here kind of by the pillager tower and I mess around with the new I don't know what kind of snow it's called but how you get cold in it. I just wanted to play around with it for a little bit and see what happened. Um, but then I see another dripstone cave, but I just wanted to see what was on the other side of this hill. And lo and behold, another village, which you don't see yet, but you see now. Now? Yes, now. <laughs> so again, third village now. Go check it out. And there's never anything in this is not Plains Village. This is a Tundra Village? I don't know what kind of village it's called. But I come back over to check out this dripstone cave that I saw right before I saw the village. Um, and yeah, I think it would be just really cool to try to build something inside of here too. So I'm trying to think of some ideas. Tons of mobs in here. Um, but think of ways that I could build and kind of expand the dripstone because I think it would be so cool if it was kind of overwhelming the whole cave a little bit more than it is. But yeah, here's the cords for this one as well. And yeah, that's where I'm going to end this 1.18 survival let's play. Um, hope you guys are enjoying and I will see you guys in the next one where we continue to explore. Bye!